And Truman Medical Center became the first hospital in the metro to receive vaccines yesterday. Vaccinations began there immediately, and the hospital expects to have 80 frontline workers vaccinated by the end of today. And you might recall 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts talked to those who have been vaccinated about how they're feeling. She has more on their hopes for the future. I feel just fine. <laughs> I feel better than yesterday. I'm still excited. Life is a little different for Sarah Keel and Laura Peckman. So when I got that call, I mean, I just was counting down the minutes like, oh, it's finally my turn. I'm so excited um, to get to be there. Both are among the first people at Truman Medical Center to receive Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. It's a sigh of relief for them as they work daily with coronavirus patients. Just totally surreal. I can't even, it seems like this is the day we've been talking about for a long time and to have it actually be here, um, really wild. Keel says right as she got it, she thought this. And I just keep thinking about all the people that we've lost. Um, and it's just been really cool to get to see OK, maybe this is how we get out of this. Since getting the vaccine, both are feeling good. I think we all have some insertion site or like injection site soreness. And a lot of us are, um, you know, just noticing just pretty much just that pain. I notice I'm a little bit tired, um, but it's very difficult to tell if that's from working several, like I'm on my third 12 in a row. <laughs> my arm hurts a little bit, um, exactly like the flu or the tetanus shot, any other vaccine that I've ever had, otherwise feeling great. While they're experiencing normal side effects of the vaccine, these nurses say at the end of the day, this vaccine is the hope we all need. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and I feel like like finally we're entering the tunnel on the way out of this. In Kansas City, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.